One reason why I love motion graphics is because it's a great way to enhance your videos. Whether you're an established After Effects user or a video editor, we're gonna break down these really cool motion graphics that we can use to enhance our work. So let's jump in and become pro motion designers in minutes. After watching this video, you're gonna be a master at being able to create any shape or graphic that you want here in After Effects. So first I'm gonna show you how to create really cool graphics just using circles. So all the tools that we'll need are right here. We'll click and grab the ellipse tool. By holding shift on your keyboard, you can draw a perfect circle. So anytime I have a shape ready to go, the first thing I usually do is double click the pan behind tool so this will center the anchor point. And then I typically go to the line tab and make sure that our shape is centered in the composition. I can then take this shape and duplicate it and we'll open up the contents, go to the path and increase the size to make our circle larger. Then we can turn off the fill and turn stroke to solid color. And we can always lower the stroke width here at the top. And what's cool about using strokes is I can open up the stroke tab and I can add the plus icon to add dashes. And then we can adjust the sizing of the dashes just by increasing that number. So now that the basis of our shapes are ready to go, we can take what we've already created, duplicate it, and I can move it over here onto my line. And I go ahead and create another variation of this. And then I can take one of these duplicated circles, duplicate it in this place, turn on the stroke for it and turn off its fill. And then I can go into its settings and change the size to be a little bit larger. And I'll set the stroke width to be much smaller as well. So the design is all set up and now we just have to animate this so it's ready to go. So for example, I could have these outer circles follow the path of our stroke circle. To do that, all I need to do is go to my stroke circle. We'll open it up. We'll right click the ellipse path and we'll click on convert to Bezier path. Then we can open up the new path, copy the path, and we'll grab one of the outer circles, hit P on keyboard for position and paste that path in there. Now you may need to readjust the path by adjusting the position of all the keyframes selected, but that's pretty easy to do. Then I can all click the stopwatch and do a loop out expression just like this with an open close parenthesis. So then I can take what we have here, copy it and paste it to our other shapes. Then I'll offset one of the layers of my timeline. And now we have this nice orbiting animation. Okay, so now we just need to animate this entire graphic in. How do we do this? Well, we have a lot of options. I'm gonna give you some great ideas. All right, so when you're working with lines, one easy way to animate these in is simply by going to that shape layer and going to add and adding a trim paths. You could easily just open this up. So for example, you can add a keyframe for start, say at one second, and then set the start to 100%. And now our line will animate in like this. And if you like, you can copy that trim paths and paste it to say our other outline circle. And now that will animate in as well, like so. And for our other objects, you could just use basic transform animations by say animating the scale from its current value down to 0%. And you can make both keyframes ease ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard and that will help with the animation. You know, and now we have a really cool graphic that we can insert into our scene. And now that our object's animated, we can easily colorize every element however we see fit. So you can colorize each layer very easily and throw it into your scene and add some nice level of detail to your video. Or even better, you can add details to your project in seconds with our Motion Duck extension here for After Effects and Premiere. Choose from over 20,000 templates by previewing, importing, and changing all parameters to fit your project. You can get everything we have with the links below and get our free pack so you can start saving time now. All right, so following up, we're going to go ahead and create another object here that's going to be a little bit more in depth on the design. But for the most part, it's going to be super easy to put together and give you ideas for your own animations. Okay, so this time around, we can say grab the polygon tool and we'll draw out our shape here in the center. And you can open up the polystar path and you can actually increase the number of points, which will change the entire shape completely. And we can set it to six. And like previously, we can take our shape, duplicate it, and we'll scale it up and we can turn off the fill and turn stroke on just like that. And we'll do another duplication of this and we'll scale it up and we'll really increase the stroke width. And this time we'll go ahead and add a trim paths. And by going the trim paths, we can go ahead and decrease this and then adjust the offset so we can have like this bracket here on the outside. So this will be like our outer targeting or you know, graphic elements. And then you can just duplicate it. And then we increase the offset so we can now move this over to the other side. And you can really expand on your objects just by duplicating. As you can see, we'll do one more duplicates. We'll hit U twice to bring up all the affected parameters. And we can come here and increase the end percent and then adjust the offsets and make the stroke width a lot smaller. And by playing with that, you can have like these outer skinny lines like so. And I can do that quickly for the other side as well. And as you see, we're starting to really build a different object and we can quickly say, just grab the pen tool here instead of using a basic shape. And we can just draw out a stroke here on the side. And this can be like an external line. And we just do a quick duplicate 
bring it to the other side and there you have it so you know there's a lot of different options of what you can actually create but then you have to animate everything and that's really up to you how you wish to animate these and if you want to make this glowy all you have to do is quickly go ahead and create yourself an adjustment layer and we'll go to effect stylize and we'll select the glow effect and we can simply just increase the glow radius up to 160 and this will make a massive difference in our work and since all these are basically lines, you know, we can quickly just come here to add and add a trim paths like we did before and animate this baby. And I'll animate our start like we did previously. And this time around, I'll select both keyframes, hit F9, go to our graph editor, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull our handles in all the way to center to make a nice whip snap animation is what I like to call it. But then we'll go ahead and copy the trim paths and we'll paste it to all of our other lines, just right in there. And then all we have to do is animate that beautiful hexagon. So I'll just go ahead and do a quick scale on it. And then we'll just offset some of these layers. It could be random or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and randomly do it. So now we have this other quick element that we've been able to create and animate within just a few minutes. So the concepts shared in this video should help you get the ground running and creating whatever creative element that you want with using shape layer motion graphics in After Effects. So good luck on your projects and always be creative.